Welcome to the Membership Guys podcast. Kick-ass advice and tips for membership site owners. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 247 of the Membership Guys podcast. I'm your host Mike Morrison, one half of the Membership Guys, and this is the number one place for proven practical tips and advice on growing a successful membership business. Today we're talking all about the best sources of ideas and inspiration for your online membership business. So this could be ideas and inspiration for membership content, for free content like blogs, podcasts, videos, for specific features and strategies to use, or even inspiration and ideas for entire new products and services. So the first way in which you can create a source of new ideas and inspiration is by running your own free Facebook group. If you create your own Facebook group, essentially you create a gathering place for people in your audience where they can come together, they can ask questions, they can vent frustrations, they can talk about issues, problems and obstacles that they're facing. All of that sort of stuff is a goldmine of inspiration for so many different things in your business. Now this may seem like an alien concept but if you want to understand your audience you need to do a crazy thing called listening listening to your audience and it's easier to listen and to observe if you bring people into a space that you've created for them Our Facebook group was crucial to getting things off the ground for us, and it remains a huge source of ideas and inspiration to this date. I'd say at least 70% of all of the podcast episodes we've done here on the Membership Guys podcast were inspired by questions and discussions from within that group. In fact, in the very early days, we were literally reacting to questions as they were being posted. Someone would ask a question in the group, I'd record an episode discussing the answer, and then I'd go back to that person and say, hey, funnily enough, I just recorded an episode about this, it'll be coming out in two weeks, but in the meantime, here's a rundown of what my answer's going to be. So, Creating your own Facebook group can give you a huge source of ideas for your membership. There's all sorts of other benefits to it as well as part of your overall audience building efforts and as giving you a platform to share your content and, of course, you know, cultivate a bit of social proof, a bit of advocacy. But in terms of being somewhere where you can continuously tap into the problems people are facing, the challenges they have, the questions they have, to generate ideas, to generate inspiration for different things you might do in your membership, content features and whatnot. Having that community, that free community, that gathering spot, that hub, again, it's also invaluable. It doesn't need to be a Facebook group. It can be a LinkedIn group, which I believe LinkedIn have recently brought back in. It could be a free Slack channel or a Discord channel. We say Facebook group simply because it's one of the most popular forms of a free online community. But anywhere where you essentially give people the space to come together, where you can ask questions, you can observe, and you have that vested interest in actually being there and keeping an eye on things and paying attention and listening Again, such a valuable, valuable resource for idea generation. Second source, second way of generating ideas and getting inspiration is by surveying your existing members. So this is almost like the next stage on from having that free Facebook group, tapping into your existing member base, the people who are paying you to solve their problems. These people are the model of your ideal audience member because they've invested in joining your membership so you're going to want to listen to what they have to say again just like with your free facebook group you can observe and pay attention to what members are asking and discussing inside your paid community whether that's another facebook group or whether that's an on-site forum like ip board or bb press or something like mighty networks again just listening just observing paying attention to the recurring questions that come up, the recurring challenges people talk about. Again, that's worth its weight in gold, but it's also very much worth regularly surveying those members too. So sending out an actual survey that you use a tool like SurveyMonkey or Typeform in order to conduct that surveying, ask those questions and get feedback. Again, such a great way of getting input, getting feedback, getting thoughts from your paying members that can help spark 
new ideas. So these surveys could be specifically related to your membership. So you could be asking them what content and features they use the most, they found most valuable, what new content they would like to see and so on. Or it can be broader. It can be about the problems they're facing, the obstacles they have, what their goals are, what steps they've taken to this point and so on and so on. So all of those sorts of things will give you a wealth of ideas and inspiration for taking your membership to the next level. So you should be regularly served Surveying those existing members about their needs and about how your membership is serving those needs, how you could improve it, uh, what they feel the missing piece is in their journey and all that sort of stuff. It's going to give you so, so much to work on. The next way of generating ideas and inspiration is something called the nine word email. So it's tapping into your email list. Your email list is an extremely useful resource for research and idea generation. And the absolute simplest way to tap into it is with what's called a nine-word email. So this term, nine-word email, was coined by a marketer called Dean Jackson. And while it doesn't literally have to be an email comprised of exactly nine words, the idea is to just send a single, simple, probing, open question to your list. No preamble, no call to action, no lead up, not as part of a five part email series, just a single one line question. So something like, are you still needing help with your architecture exams? That's nine words. And that's it. Nothing else. No, hey, Bob, how are you doing? I've got a question for you. No, hit reply and let me know. And if there's anything else I can help you with, and by the way, click this link to join the membership. None of that nonsense. Just that question. Are you still needing help with your architecture exams? Do you still want to learn how to play drums? That one's 10 words. But again, it's the same principle. Single, simple, open, probing question. What's the number one problem you're having with investing in stocks? That's a few more words, but again, That word count is irrelevant. It's all about the style of the question, the omission of anything other than that one question and the type of response that it's designed to elicit. The nine word email is designed to get people to hit reply and give you information and insights into their needs and their situation that you might not get otherwise. And not only can this spark ideas, but it can also start dialogues that could lead directly to sales. This is something that is tried and tested across a whole bunch of different markets and different situations. It's hilariously simple, but it's effective. So very much worth trying out. And the reason I love this as a a technique, as a tactic to use, is because so often as marketers, as business owners, we overcomplicate things. We overstuff things. We keep selling beyond the sell. We try and pack in five or six different objectives into a single email. We send out an email and we try and get someone to view our latest content. We get them. To, we're trying to get them to visit our sales page. We try and get them to give us some feedback. We try and get them to visit us on on our social platforms. All in a single email. There's about twenty different objectives within the emails we send out or within the stuff we post on social or put on our website. So this approach, I just love because it's all about stripping everything away and keeping it extremely simple. Just that one question. So easy to do, so quick to do. You can literally hit pause on this podcast, go and send this email to your list, ask them a question like that. Are you still needing help with whatever? What's the number one problem you're having right now with whatever? If you could wave a magic wand and solve your biggest problem with whatever, what would that problem be? Questions like that, that are designed to spark that conversation, they open their probing. Again, great, great, great way of getting a wealth of feedback and having those conversations That'll spark ideas and spark inspiration. But hey, why ask just one question when you can ask three? So this is another way of tapping into your email list. It's something different to the nine-word email, and it's something we teach specifically for memberships. And that is to ask a simple question to three core groups of people on your list. 
Group one are the people who are on your email list but have not joined your membership. Group two are the people who joined your membership. And group three are the people who have left your membership. So this three question strategy is the fourth thing you can do for idea and inspiration generation. You want to ask each of these three groups a different question. The people who are on your list but have not joined your membership, you want to email them and ask them why they're not joined. What's the biggest obstacle? What's the number one reason you haven't yet joined our membership? I notice you've been on our email list for a while. You've not yet joined the membership. Hit reply and let me know what the reason for that is. To the people who have joined your membership, you want to email them, you want to ask them, why did you join? What was the number one reason you joined the membership? What was it you were hoping to achieve when you joined the membership? And then to that third group of people, the people who have joined your membership, but they've left, you want to ask them, why did you leave? It's that simple. And similar to the nine word question, the idea is to ask that open probing question that will spark the conversations and get you feedback that you can work with to identify any sticking points in your marketing that might be stopping people from joining, to identify the thought process people have when they do join and the elements of your marketing and your messaging that's resonating the most so you can focus on that a little bit more. And also to identify any problems, any issues that might be costing you members and affecting your churn rate. Again, Three questions, one to each of the three core groups of people. People who haven't yet joined, people who have joined, people who've left. Getting that feedback and making it easy for people to give it to you. Again, you're just saying these people hit reply and let me know. Limiting the ask to a single simple question is going to make it far more likely people will actually respond and this will give you a whole lot to work with for generating new ideas or for correcting things that maybe you hadn't realized were not working quite as they should do. And then finally, one of the most no-brainer ways to get new ideas and inspiration for your membership business is to join other memberships. Not necessary to learn what they're teaching, but to learn from how they serve their audience, how they engage, what they do well, and what they do poorly. It's really easy as a membership owner to become detached from the experience of being a member, being a student. No matter what you do in your own site, you're always going to be too close to it to truly capture that feeling of being a member. So joining other memberships, both within your market and in completely unrelated fields, they will help you to switch your mindset up and get you to think more about the member experience, putting you in the shoes of someone joining a new membership that they're not familiar with, that they've got to acclimatize to, they've got to find their way around, all that sort of stuff. A number of our members over at membershipacademy.com, they tell us that while they learn from our material and they get a lot of value from our resources, they learn the most from simply observing us as an ongoing case study of how to run a membership site. They get to watch over our shoulder and reflect on how different aspects of our member experience makes them feel or how different things we do in our membership aids them in their journey, gets them to where they want to go. And they can use those takeaways and their experience as a member to inspire their own membership. In fact, we've gone one step further in the academy with our Membership Insider series. This is actually a video series where we literally go inside 10 well-known membership sites and record the entire journey from perusing their sales page to signing up to going through the onboarding, consuming the content, getting stuck in the community all the way through to cancelling. It's all recorded in real time with unedited, unfiltered reactions and commentary from me as I go through the experience of being a member. The takeaways from doing that are a treasure trove of ideas and insights that not only have our own members taken advantage of, but we've also used as inspiration ourselves. Joining other memberships, putting yourself in the shoes of a member of a membership site. Again, it's a massive, massive way to switch up your thinking, to generate new ideas and inspiration, to identify things that maybe you haven't thought about as a membership owner. Again, that sort of thing is invaluable. So, 
Those are our five best sources for new ideas and fresh inspiration for your membership. One, running your own free Facebook group or free community, creating that hub, that gathering place for your broader audience to come together. Listen to those people. Pay attention to those people. What are they talking about? What are they complaining about? What are their goals? What's driving them? What are their frustrations? All this sort of stuff is a goldmine. Tap into your existing member base. Survey your existing members regularly. Of course, you want to listen to them and observe them in the same way you would within a free Facebook group or what have you, but you can go even further and get direct specific feedback by conducting regular surveys of your paying members. Two great ways of tapping into your email list, the first of which is the nine-word email. It can be a little more than nine words. It can be a couple of words less. It's all about sending that single, simple, probing, open question to your list. No preamble, no call to action, just that one line question will open up so much feedback that's going to really, really help you to get new ideas and inspire some new lines of thinking in your business. The second way of tapping into your email list is almost an evolution of that nine-word email approach, but instead we're sending a single question to three core groups of people on your list. Those who haven't joined, those who have joined, those who have left. We want to know the why behind all three of those scenarios. And then finally, best way to get ideas and inspiration for your membership is to join other memberships. It's a no-brainer right? Put yourself in the shoes of a member. Go through the member experience. You'll learn a lot from what works, what doesn't work, and you'll be able to take a lot of that stuff back to your own membership site. So if you felt that the well has been running dry in terms of inspiration for your own membership, in terms of ideas for content, for features, for new things to try, whether it's onboarding, retention strategies, marketing, whatever, then hopefully this has given you a little bit of food for thought and it's pointing you in the direction of where you can go to get the feedback, to get those ideas and to spark that inspiration that will help you take your membership to the next level. That is it from me for this week. I'll be back again next week with another installment of the Membership Guys podcast. If you enjoyed this week's episode of the Membership Guys podcast, we invite you to check out membershipacademy.com. The Membership Academy is the essential resource for anyone at any stage of starting, growing and running a membership website. Whether you're still trying to figure out what your idea is going to be or whether your website is already up and running and you're just looking for ways to grow it and attract new members, then the Membership Academy can help you to get to the next level. With our extensive course library, monthly training, exclusive member-only discounts, perks and tools, and a supportive, active community to help you along the way with feedback, encouragement and advice, the Membership Academy is the perfect place to be for anyone looking to start, manage and grow a successful membership website. Check it out at membershipacademy.com.